Hello everyone and welcome to Civic Platform. This is your host Zuhair Al Mosri. Today I'm visiting Eid Carnival. So in this carnival, the people here and the participant will build network. They will find new friends and a lot of fun. So let's find out how the people feel and how it's important for them to have this kind of carnival for for the Arab community and Muslim community and the, all these nice neighborhoods. So let's jump right in. Assalamualaikum Zohair, thank you so much for having us on your uh, Civic Platform uh, show. This is uh, the MIA Eat Carnival 2022. Very excited to be here and to show you around today. So today we are holding uh, the Eat Carnival that has activities and food and entertainment and of course the number one thing which is our fireworks that happen at 10.30 tonight. So the Eat Carnival has been uh, a staple that we've been doing this for many years. This year it's bigger and better. We've been doing this for not just the Muslim community but for the neighborhoods in Winnipeg so that everyone can get together, enjoy good food, come together as a community and really celebrate uh, Eid as an event but also as a community uh, celebration.
I'm Scott Gillingham. I'm currently a city councillor, but I'm now a candidate for mayor for the, uh, the Winnipeg mayor election. I'm so excited to be here. This event at the mosque is so important. It's so important for Winnipegers, especially new Winnipegers, people who are you know, coming into Winnipeg from, from other countries. It creates such a sense of belonging and such a sense of family. Um, Winnipeg's strength is its diversity. And uh, in fact, the motto of Winnipeg is one with the strength of many. And that's what makes Winnipeg uh, so, such a wonderful place to be. And so when there's communities like this and events like this, um, it's, it's an opportunity for get people to gather together, to come together, to socialize, and to support one another. And so I'm just thrilled to be here today. And uh, I hope we see, you know, I know we see more and more of these events all across Winnipeg. Net networking is so important. When, when, you know, when you come into a, a city, when you move into a city, uh, I grew up outside of Winnipeg, so moving into Winnipeg, you, you, you need to network with people and connect with people and find people to become new friends and find people who maybe through a conversation will connect you to a school or connect you to a job. And so this kind of networking is so important. Um, by nature, we are, we're, we're social people and we need one another to be stronger in, and succeed in life. And so I'm so excited that this event is on today and I'm thrilled to be here to, uh, to see everybody and to support this event. Oh, just to simply say that the motto of Winnipeg is one with the strength of, uh, of many. I envision a city where we are stronger together, where you, we're uniting and coming together to, uh, to seize our opportunities as a city and to tackle our shared problems, our shared challenges as well. So really thrilled to be here and uh, I'm glad it's such a great success today. Uh, my name is Abdul Altasi. I'm uh, the, currently the chairman of, and president of the uh, Islamic, Israel Islamic School. I'm also the president and, CIA and CEO of Peerless Garment, where we make clothing for the entire army of Canada uh, for the last um, 60 years. I've been with the company for 53 years so far, and we're continuing to be successful in what we do, and so we're successful in this. The Islamic School and uh, also the Islamic Social Services. I'm the chair of the Islamic Social Services as well, where we serve the community for the last 22 years and the school for the last 27 years. Oh, this, this carnival is everybody is, is thirsty for it in there after the COVID-19 and after the problems we, we have had over the years, over the three years. I think the, and after the Eid, the Eid was not much uh, of, of activity, but now this activity is going to be great for the kids, great for the family, and it's going to be a link between families in there. They see each other, they talk to each other. It's very important. And our community is growing, MIA is growing a great deal. We built the first masjid when we were 10 families in this country, and I was part of the, the first masjid on Hazelwood, and I'm part of this masjid, I'm part of many masjid built in, in Winnipeg. If it was Bilal Masjid or any other Masjid, I, am, I always lend a, a, a hand to each one and be happy and proud to see the things moving along with everybody. So uh, yes, the, the Masjid is very important for, for the community. Well, like I said earlier, it's a link between families. They, they see each other, they meet each other, and also important for us in there the politicians, they come and visit us in here. There's a lot of people running for the mayor and a lot of people running for the, uh, the uh, councillors, the uh, city councillors. My son is running for the city councillor, Mohammed El Tassi. He's running for city councillor. So uh, it's important all around, important for the community to know the politician. And without the politician, we, we don't mean much in there. They help us. Um, uh, a lot of the politicians helped us for this masjid, for example, uh, Mayor Glenn Murray, when he was uh, mayor in here, he helped us with this masjid and also gave us a school. I was part of that uh, board, they gave us a school and then why we're still operating with it right now and we have full, uh, full school for 250 children and we're hoping to grow with it. Islamophobia is a life, there's no doubt about it. Everybody's fearing uh, what's going on and you know what's happening in Quebec City, you know what's happening in London, Ontario, with Edmonton and many parts of the country. There's no doubt about it. But, you know, we work the best we can in there in MIA in here. The MIA has been a, a foundation for the last 51 years or so. Uh, if it's not more, 50, more than that, 53 years really actually, the MIA. 
and uh, I established when I came into this country, to be honest. So uh, MIA will help, and MIA will uh, speak in behalf of the Muslims all the time. And we also have another organization, Islamic Social Services, like I said, also know all about the Islamic, uh, the, the um, uh, Islamophobia, and they combat the Islamophobia big time. And they, we, uh, we have Shaheena Siddiqui, for example, she goes all over the Canada to speak to the uh, to the uh, police, to speak to uh, to uh, RCMP, to teach him about Islam and about what's Islam about, about and Islamophobia, what's all about. So we are active, all of us active. We work from all parts and there the, to help and to uh, bring to the to the world and there what we suffering with Islamophobia. I just want to add in there, I hope everybody is always safe and sound. I hope our community will always be safe. And I hope that everybody would look at us as our people coming to this country to live and let live. And uh, where peace is the most important thing in Islam. That's why Islam started it with, with, uh, with uh, in the name of God, the most peaceful, the most merciful. So um, peace is a, a very uh, essential for us and we hope that peace will always remain with us and with all community in general. It's important for the community to have events like this and we hope to do many, many more of this is because it connects everyone throughout the city and the province. We have people living all around Winnipeg uh, and sometimes we go to our own mosques, our own areas, and we don't get a chance to gather together. So just like Eid Prayer, we try to bring this community event together so that we have people from all over the city come together, all nationalities, uh, all types of food, all types of enjoyment, uh, so that the kids, the next generation, and also the new immigrants can see how the Manitoba Islamic Association Association puts together events, but how it keeps the communities together. My name is Marcus Chambers. I'm the city councillor for St. Norbert St. River and the acting deputy mayor for the city of Winnipeg. I'm here today to celebrate Eid Carnival with our Islamic community. This is such an important event as it brings the community together in the south end of Winnipeg where I represent 51,000 constituents. This is a great event where we have arts and crafts and bouncy castles for the kids. It's an opportunity to learn about the Islamic faith and just to share in our neighborhoods. So congratulations, happy Eid, and so happy to be here today representing the city of Winnipeg. Events like this are important because they give uh, newcomers to our city and to our province the opportunity to learn more about what goes on here in the city of Winnipeg and the province of Manitoba. We're a diverse community, but we're also an inclusive community. So we hope that everyone comes to this Eid Carnival and learns more about the Islamic faith and more about this community. So come on down and enjoy your time here today. Well, it's important to see yourself reflected in all of the services and all of the festivals and opportunities that we have here in the city of Winnipeg. So it's important for newcomers that are coming to our city and to our province to learn more about all of the events that are happening here so you can network and uh, know who's living here and be part of the community. It's always a good thing to, uh, to learn more about the community that you're living in and it's opportunities like this that provide it. Go on social media, go on Facebook, on Instagram, on any of the social media platforms the Islamic uh, uh, Association of Manitoba puts out a lot of information and it's a great opportunity to learn more about what's going on in our city. Hello, assalamu alaikum. My name is Ashley Majedic and I am the owner of Jeweled Winnipeg. Um, we operate out of Mulvey Flea Market on uh, weekends 10 to 5 and we came here to the Eid Carnival to sell our product. Um, it's important for me to be here today because we love uh, being a part of the Muslim community and reaching out to people and uh, being able to sell products just to everybody. Uh, we have an assortment of jewelry, mostly rhinestone, that's what we're known for. Uh, we are always well known for our crowns because they're definitely hard to find. Um, as well as our sunglasses, which we seem to be getting low on already, and we just started here. <laughs> uh, we do try to carry things that you can't easily find in, in other stores. Um, uh, we have a lot of character earrings, as well as you know our, our crowns, our glasses. We have a, a huge assortment of rings um, that the aunties and everyone seem to love. <laughs> 
It's a great place to network. It's a great place to meet your uh, fellow Muslim brothers and sisters. There's a lot of people that are professionals here uh, in the community. There's a lot that have businesses. It's a great opportunity to meet, to mingle, to network, to build relationships. Uh, this is what it's all about. Uh, there's a lot of politicians here today, a lot of business owners. Uh, and you know, if you're new to the community, you want to go to an event where you're going to get to meet all different types of people. So my name is Glenn Murray. I'm a candidate for mayor of Winnipeg in this election. And I, I was the mayor of the city from 1998 to 2004 before. I'm here today for three reasons. One, um, I've, I've spent a lot of my life helping um, build a diverse community, uh, particularly working with Mr. Altassi and many of the other uh, Muslim families, the Zeeds and many others, working to bring more Muslims to Canada, from, particularly from countries where there's conflict uh, and people are trying to secure safety. Um, and I think it's important to, um, I think it's important not to, to talk, but to actively show up and support the community. One, it's a great event for all Winnipeggers. It's a chance for Muslim families to get together and connect, especially after COVID, but it's also a chance for the entire community of Winnipeg to understand how beautiful Muslim, the Muslim religion is, Islam is, and how, what a strong and beautiful community, eat some great food, uh, learn some new languages, lose some of those words, and uh, really celebrate that. And third, I, I'm here, be quite honest, uh, I try to earn the votes and the trust of the Muslim community in the upcoming election. Well, I think it's important that when you, almost all of us come from some other part of the world except for indigenous people. Uh, my family came from Ukraine. My mother was the only person who survived. Everyone else was killed in a conflict. Um, when she came here, having a strong Ukrainian community and cultural groups and seniors' homes and being able to learn Ukrainian in school and um, feeling that she could see her culture and her language uh, in this city is important. I think the same is for the very complex uh, Muslim world because we're talking people from several continents, from many corners of the world who speak different languages, who have different culinary traditions. To come here and see an established Muslim community, to see the beauty and diversity of the Muslim community, to be able to have mosques and cultural centers to go to, to be able to get services safely. This building here, um, I worked very closely with Mr. Altassi and many leaders in the Muslim community to get the land, the city, the city gave the land and the provincial government also provided funds to create a cultural center and then to ensure that there was available land for a mosque. We started uh, the first Muslim school, the city gifted a school to the Muslim community here. So young Muslim families and children, when they came from a often a uh, very religious country, uh, and Canada was a very strange place, they, their children didn't have to go right into a, a mainstream public school. They could start their life in Canada in a Muslim school and allow the family and the children to adjust, to learn the culture, and then to move into the public school system in steps. And that was very important for successful settlement. So lots of people talk about Islamophobia. I've spent much of my life doing something about it. Respect diversity or tolerate people. We're a city that has to fully celebrate the diversity. And celebrating the diversity and celebrating the Muslim community is having a party. It's having a celebration. So I'm particularly pleased to be here and support MIA and the great work that they do. Our community loves getting together. We're a community that likes to connect physically in, in the, the same environment, in the same space. And so this allows us to come back and have that connection. Uh, you know, Zoom is great. Virtual meetings are great. Virtual uh, events are great that we did a lot of uh, at MIA. But physically coming together, seeing people, seeing the kids, how they've grown up, see how uh, some of the young people have gotten married or have had kids, uh, and just kind of uh, seeing how the community grew over the last two years. We hope we never have a pandemic again. But I can tell you that, uh, that after the pandemic, any event that we have has been a great success, and we look forward to doing many more. My name is Halal Eid. Uh, I am Jordanian. I just arrived as a new immigrant to Canada, it's like two months back. Uh, I am a pharmacist and uh, today we heard about this carnival and uh, we came. It was a really good opportunity for us because we are a newcomer. Uh, so this was a chance to see people. Uh, we have actually seen um, a lot of Arabs, Muslims and even non-Muslims. 
so I guess this was really a very nice gathering and um, it, so yeah it would just like uh, know new people here uh, and build relationship uh, so and everything was really nice and organized uh, and you can see everything like there are a lot of people food drinks so it was really a wonderful day I guess Uh, my name is Tariq Ajam and I'm a student at the uh, University of Manitoba. I'm a master's student there. Yeah, it's very important to gather with the community, uh, Muslim community here in Winnipeg. Uh, I believe we have a really uh, considerably uh, big commu Muslim community here in Winnipeg. Uh, it's very nice to see other people here. Uh, it's also a really um, good opportunity as well to see other people, made some connections, uh, having some fun with the family and other friends as well. So for, uh, for newcomers, uh, I believe, yeah, it is um, uh, it's very important event. Uh, so maybe it's gonna, it's gonna cool down their temperature a little bit. So, you know, uh, it's gonna be like far away from home, feel, feeling uh, uh, longing their, um, their families. Uh, being here, gathered with people, gathered with people, uh, sharing the same spirit, let's say, uh, it's gonna make them uh, soothe their uh, their feelings and then and makes makes it better for them. Absolutely, uh, you know, this we have over 100 volunteers here today, youth, uh, young people. Uh, families, you know, partners, uh, we've got all types of people volunteering. The event was put together um, by a core volunteer group that's been volunteering with MIA for many years. And I think what we find is this is a great way to connect, uh, to network, to uh, for new, new people coming into the city, uh, volunteering at diff different events, volunteering at the organization. It allows you to connect with other people, other families. Um, and I think at the end of the day, you know, Islamically, volunteering is something that's encouraged as well. So we try our best to give lots of opportunities, especially to the youth, who need the volunteer hours for their schools as they graduate and so this is another great event for them to help out in. Um, hello, my name is Noor and I am 14 years old. I, I came here, I'm a newcomer and been here for two months. Um, this event is a new thing for me. I've seen a lot of people here, uh, new people, new faces, um, Arabs, from Muslims to Arabs, many t kinds of people and coming here um, is important for me because um, this is like a new opportunity looking for volunteering for example, looking forward to school and it gives me, you know, opens up to me opportunities to get new friends, uh, to find um, new things to do here. Hello guys, I'm here, my name is Nasruddin. I'm here at the festival celebrating Eid with my family and community. I'm currently in grade eight, and I would love to say that this is a really nice carnival. I was here with my family and the community celebrating Eid. Um, it's really fun here, and there's a whole bunch of games, as you can see. I played that fighting game with my friend. I also raced my friend over there. This place is really fun. I also ate a lot of food. That, as you can see, I have a big stomach. I ate a lot of food. Um, it was really fun here. I'm Fiona Wan. Uh, I came because it's been a while since I was at an event like this for Islam, Muslim stuff at the mosque. So it's a nice change of pace to be able to be here. I'm with my friends. Yeah, <laughs> having fun. <laughs> It's important because uh, it's like a, well, I'm here with my friends and they're like, it's a new thing for them too because it's like introduction to culture and all, but also just, it's nice to be around your own people and to be like buying stuff that normally you can't get in like Walmart or whatever. So yeah, like there's pan and biryani, good. So safety is our number one concern. This is, we have a big uh, land area. We have a big building. So we have a tremendous amount of our staff that are also working along with the volunteers. 
There's a first aid station, a lost and found. Uh, we've got lots of people keeping an eye on the kids, especially. Uh, of course, we encourage the parents, but everyone's having a great time and kids love to wander. Uh, and so we have everyone keeping a, an eye out on the kids and making sure that nobody gets lost. Uh, but if they do, God forbid, then we have a good process in place to keep it secure. Yes, absolutely. Today was a challenge. Up until this morning, we were concerned that we were going to have thunderstorms. Uh, we did have rain this morning, but alhamdulillah, it, uh, it all worked out and it always does. We have to have faith. Uh, we kept doing our part and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala did his part. Thank you so much for having me on your programs over here. You've, uh, you've become a real staple in the community with everything that you do, all the events that you, uh, that you tape and you present to back to the community. We really appreciate it uh, and we look forward to working with you further. We reached the end of this episode. You, as you see, a lot of fun, a lot of importance for this uh, community to have this kind of carnival. So I like you enjoy it and get very nice and new information. So thank you for watching. If you like the episode, please like, share and subscribe to see our upcoming episodes. Last half.